So I got this question from my man JT and the question is, what if I use 9% of my max and pay it all off by the due date leaving a zero balance by the end of the statement date? Meaning that if he maintains a 9% but just pay it off, like what would happen? Really nothing would happen. I just want you to understand that what I'm trying to explain is that within this category of credit utilization, put it like this, your credit score ranges from 300 to 850. So each category has a certain amount of points you can get. And for this particular category, you could get 165 points. So if you're a person that's trying to boost their credit, let's say you are maintaining at least 30%. And it's not just one credit card, this is across all your credit cards. So if you are maintaining 30%, you want to increase your credit score. So that way you can boost up your credit score. You need to bring your credit utilization at least, forget the 2%, you need to bring it at least less than 10%. Because if you bring it less than 10%, now you're in the elite status. You're in a different type of status. It shows that you are even more responsible with your money and how you handle your credit. Credit. So understand that the point that I'm trying to make is if in order for you to raise your credit score and you are a person that's doing 30% paying your bills on time, but you're trying to get a higher credit score, either you need to ask them for more money or more credit on your account, get another credit card or bring all of your balances less than 10%. This will help you raise your credit score. So if you're just a person that's used the credit card and then pay it off, you're not playing the game. I'm trying to teach you how you could get more credit to extend your wealth so that way you can have more spending power, not more money just to spend, but to have more spending power. That is all. I'm Service General. Peace.